This indicator is telling us that Bitcoin will soon hit 85K. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's videos, I'm going to talk about a little bit of news. Yes, an indicator that's telling us 85k Bitcoin price very soon. Also sharing some charts and, of course, an inspirational quote at the end. Let's quickly jump into the first part of the video, the news, guys, as there is some cool news that I want to share with all of you out there. Bam! The news for today is that it is boring as fuck. There is not that many news, guys, but I can tell you a little bit about Singapore. We were to Singapore. It was my daughter Jolie, my daughter Juna, and I. We went to Singapore for four days. Uh, of course, for the Token 2049 event, we met a shitload of people. Uh, I want to say a special thanks to the Blowfin team for their yard party, for the Bybit team for the Crypto Fight Night and a yard party. Also, of course, the Crypto Banter for inviting me to his party and to all the other people that made Singapore again an amazing experience guys yes we even went with the team go-getters and they know who I am referring to to the marquee and we had a VIP table there and we had like all night we closed the doors we did we really closed the doors it was like partying all night long with my daughters with my friends it was an amazing time Singapore guys I got to meet a lot of people again and I also missed to meet a lot of people again because a lot of people were like all occupied because there were too many side events there were too many side events for those four days they should make the token 2049 week like a two week event with the side events spread a little bit more so we get to meet each other all the time everywhere guys but still I had an amazing time and yes I heard a lot of new very positive news for this whole crypto industry a lot of new projects I will make some videos about them because of course yes I'm also investing in other projects and I'm gonna show you which ones they are but that was the news for the day we came back to beautiful Phuket again coming back then again starting my sports and all that stuff again because yes it was three days of only booze booze and not a booze no boobs booze drinking too much drinking yes and i want to stop drinking so yes i want to take it easy again here on phuket now and uh, focus a little bit more on the healthy lifestyle guys now that was the news for today now the other news i will include into the charts because there's some amazing stuff happening on the charts that you really need to see let's quickly jump into the charts guys bam The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart, guys. On this four hour chart, I've been guiding you through that last dip all the way from here, the bottom of that dip there. We can see it still at 52K. I thought you start to buy more Bitcoin. We are going to go up and we're going to hit that green line. We did hit that green line. We even broke that green line now. We already touched that yellow line on top over there. The yellow line, that's a 63K level. That was my next target. And of course, the other target was also on my chart. That's a 65K level, guys. If we break this 63K level, we will visit that 65k level. If you look to the left, see, do you see this green line over there? That was a sloppy drawing, that target. You know, here I told you guys, we are gonna buy because we found support over there. I thought you were gonna break out, break this green line. We are gonna come back. And from there, the target will be that yellow line, 65k. I told you this already the 16th of September. So that's all a week ago and we are exactly going for the target guys 65k that is a huge resistance line as you know and that level we need to break uh, to go and create a new all-time high but i will come back to that uh, in a other chart on this video guys and again the indicator shitload of profit because of using the bitcoin family indicator setup go to the bitcoinfamily.com to find more information over there the gaussian channel been guiding you through this one as well i told you guys the gaussian channel we need to keep support on the midline we did that that was like 5, 10, 15 days ago already when I told you that. And then I told you we are, we're going to hunt for the top. We did also that. And then I told you if we now open this candle above that Gaussian channel, which we just did, we opened above. And if we close it also above in 3 days and 19 hours, then we are out of the woods. We are out of that sucking Gaussian channel. We can go and build up to a new all-time high. My target will be 85k very soon, but let me show that in a chart, guys. Because if you go to the weekly, we have this chart. On the weekly, you know, I've been sharing this chart already for a very long time with the lower highs and the higher highs, and I thought your higher low was over here. Ah, maybe I should have put it a little bit like 
Now, over there, um, I told you also the differences between all the moving averages. You can see them also on the chart, guys. The important part now is the RSI. I guided you through the RSI. I told you if we go and break this one, that's very bearish, we will go lower. We did go lower. And then we found resistance over there. So to draw it, we broke it over there. Then we found resistance over there. And then we dropped down below the RSI again. And then we formed a new trend line. The one that found resistance. And we broke that trend line just now. The last time from the mid of the RSI to again, for example, this kind of move to above the RSI. The last time that we did that was the move from, for example, over here to there. The move in the Bitcoin price was from over there, 25, no, over here, did it? there's where we broke out. Uh, so that's 30K all the way to that 60K on top. 100% move the last time we did that. Now we broke out of this trend line again. What are we going to do? Are we going to go up? Because this trend line, look, I'm going to delete that one just to show you. And then draw it like this. We broke that trend line. Bam. Big move. Now on the weekly, we broke that downward trend line. I expect a big move. And the target, guys, of that move, let me draw you a little bit like this, something here. Okay, let me draw this. I'm just going to draw view you the pattern that we see over here. And this, you see? If we draw the pole, the pole would be like uh, somewhere to it, till this level over there. And if we copy that pole, guys, if we just copy that pole, control, oh, sorry for that. Uh, control C, control V there. And we paste that pole now on top of here. Then we can see that the target over there is almost 90K, 85 to 90K. I believe that would be the target. So that is where I think that the move of Bitcoin will go next to the top zone, 85K ish. It could be that big a move. So let me see how that plays out. But beautiful chart also on the weekly. And that is why I told you in the beginning of the video, this could be an 80K5 move for Bitcoin, which would be amazing. But if you're talking about amazing, let's show you a few more amazing charts, guys, over here. Bam, this one. I'm going to hide my face. This is the first chart. This one is showing you that at the moment, the unrealized gains and losses on investment securities are at all time high levels. These levels we haven't seen ever before. Even, you know, when the huge stock crisis, the huge crisis was in 2008, nine, that was the level. That was the unrealized gains on the investment security level, minus 75. We are now at minus 675. This is the biggest bubble we have ever seen. And the biggest part of these unrealized gains, losses in this moment, is held by the banks. More than 110 billion is held by the banks. So the only thing that they can do to decrease this is to start printing money. I will keep all the details because it's too difficult material. But if you want to solve this, you can only do one thing and it's start that printer again, start printing money. And we all know what printing money will lead to. This in combination with the fact that the presidential elections will be, the new president will be elected, plus this problem over here will lead to a shitload of money being printed very soon. And it will also flow into Bitcoin. And then this will happen to Bitcoin. The first thing, the transaction fee in Bitcoin calculated here, this is an orange line, is only going down from 2012, it was over there, to now, 2024, calculated as Satoshi's, the transaction fee is going down, down tremendously. This is amazing. If you calculate the transaction fee in dollars, they are only going up. What does it show you? That Bitcoin is protecting you against inflation because the transaction fee, you can replace transaction fee by groceries. You can replace transaction fee also by cars or houses or whatever else you want to buy. In Satoshis, it's becoming cheaper and cheaper. In dollars, it's becoming more expensive and expensive. So that also counts for the transaction fees in Bitcoin, guys. Now, Bitcoin is at the moment, at the moment, in September-ish over here, just before October and November and December. And that normally October, November, December, this part is normally a very bullish part. This is normally a part that we go almost 40 to 50% up. We are just before. 
We are still in September, another seven days, we will go into October, and we could see a huge jump in the Bitcoin price. That would also be in line with that 85k level to 90k level, a 40% jump from here. Amazing jump. So then you might say, wow, that's amazing. Bitcoin reached 85k. That's just the beginning. If we do what we did in 2014, 2017, or 2018, 21, the yellow and the blue line, then Bitcoin still needs to go up a huge part. The blue line, we went really high. The yellow line, we went a little bit lower. And maybe this black line will also go lower. Maybe it will only go to this dotted line over there. But check on the left. That is 126K. And if we outperform, maybe we go to 160K. We go back to the level that we had the first dip in the previous bear market, you know, 60K to 30K to 60K. If that black line would go to there, that's amazing performance. That's Bitcoin between 120 and 160K, guys. Please realize this. This is the last moment you will be able to buy Bitcoin this cheap. And I know my face is not in the screen at the moment. Maybe it should be on the screen over there. <laughs> it takes me time. But I'm going to do it with Scream again now. Yes, you should realize that this might be the last time you'll be able to buy Bitcoin at these prices the last time you will be able to buy Bitcoin at these prices before we get a massive pump. You need to get it now and I will show you another chart that will make it even more clear, guys. Now, but first this chart. This chart is also a very important chart. Now my face can disappear again, not so important. But this chart is also a very important chart. On this chart, you can see the correlation with Bitcoin and the gold cycles. Now, that top red line, there's the highest part of the gold cycle, and that uh, bottom line is the low of the gold cycle. The black line is the average of the gold cycle, and the current cycle is those green uh, dots, guys. So, and we call this the Bitcoin Gold Weekly Power Law. So far, it has been beating the past three cycles. The average of the past three cycles is this black line. The bottom was the red line. The top was that red line. Look with it green, we are above the top. We are now beating the past three cycles when it comes to Bitcoin divided by the gold weekly. This means Bitcoin is outperforming gold tremendously. Don't be fooled. Don't be in gold. Gold is making new all them highs, but still Bitcoin outperforming gold tremendously. You should be invested in the digital gold of the 21st century. We refer to it as Bitcoin. That is what you should be in, not in the traditional gold, those bricks that you can't travel with. You should be in the digital gold, guys. Simple as that. Now, then we have one more chart, guys, and that chart is this one. Uh, no upside if you miss these 27 months. This one um, is telling you that if you calculate the Bitcoin price in the 162 months, and it's all the way from 2012 over there till 2024, then um, you would get this green line. So that's the Bitcoin going up from 80 bucks all the way to now uh, almost 70,000 US dollar. If you would calculate that same Bitcoin price minus the 27 months in the bull market, and that is 2013 bull market, 2017 bull market, 2020-21 bull market, if you would not calculate those 27 months, but only the other 135 months, you will have this red line. Bitcoin would not be performing at all. You would have been buying at $10 and it would still be worth $10. So if you don't calculate the bull market, 13, 17, 21, then you get this horizontal line. No increase in the price. If you do calculate those 27 months in the bull market, then you get that green line from 10 bucks all the way to 70,000 US dollar. That is showing you how important those 27 months were for the Bitcoin price. And now the thing that you need to understand is that we are now in the bull market 2025. This is going to be part of those 27 months bull market part. So yes, if you are not in Bitcoin now, you're going to miss the most bullish months of the bull market. Just like those were the most bullish months in 2013, 
in 2017, in 2020, 21. Now 24, 25 will be the most bullish part of the bull market. You can't miss out of that. That's the next 12 months that you need to be in Bitcoin to be doubling at least your capital. If you don't do that, if you get out now, you will just go sideways. Please understand this chart. If you don't understand the chart, maybe I don't explain it well enough in my Dutch English, then pause the video and think for yourself. This chart is very important to understand because that will show you that the next 12 months will be very important months for you to be in this bull market, guys. That was the last chart for today. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Yes, of course, short term, we can see a move to 85K because the RSI is showing us that. And short term, we see more bullish signals for Bitcoin. So yes, we can create a new all-time high in October, November, December, that's quarter four. And that's normally the quarter we always go up with like 30%, 40%, 50% from before that quarter, guys. So that means from 60K, like plus 50%, for example, arriving at 90K maybe 85k i have my targets i shared it with you i hope you enjoy them long term still believing the bull market top will be in 2025 i'm sweating it's bloody hot here in thailand 2025 the top will be in guys i believe it's september october november ish that there the new top will uh, be in 2025 but still that doesn't mean we can't take profit at the end of 2024 buy back a little bit cheaper in the beginning of 2025 but i will guide you through it but you need to do one thing for me you need to sign up to this channel give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every video i make and please keep following and share it with all your family and friends guys so they also get guided through this bull bear bull market again for the next couple of years i think in the last couple of years we as a channel have created some millionaires out there guys because there was a lot of people following our strategy selling their houses going all in they will all become millionaires during this cycle and then next cycle again more people will join guys now so and when it comes to the charts guys always remember never zoom in never focus on the one minute five minute chart always zoom out look at that bigger picture the four year cycle is going to be the goal of the 21st century it's going to be the safe haven even for your capital that is fighting against inflation. You should be all in Bitcoin, sometimes exiting only to use fiat. Zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day to the fullest. That is what you should be freaking out, being happy 24 seven. Zoom out and your capital will be working for you. That's my tip for today, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the inspirational part of the video. The inspirational part, guys, is something I walk into very often in life. Why? Because I keep speaking, of course, to a lot of people. A lot of people also book one-to-one -one sessions for coaching and other activities, guys. But the thing that strikes me the most is that people always doubt. They keep doubting. They keep doubting on the choices. They keep doubting on going all in. They keep doubting on even investing in Bitcoin. They keep doubting on breaking the hamster wheel. They keep doubting on going and live like a digital nomad family. They keep doubting, doubt, doubt. Now, let me tell you this quote. Doubt will kill more dreams than failure will ever do. Never doubt. All the doubt that you have in your head is killing all your dreams because you don't even start. And when you don't even start, your dreams will never be coming true. So doubt is killing all your dreams. If you just do it, you might live your dream, which could lead into being a failure, but at least you did it. But if you keep doubting, you never take the first step, you will never do it, you will never succeed. At least try it, give it a try. That's why I always say you need to have the courage to take the first step. Whenever you have taken the first step, everything will go from itself there. It was very simple. Doubt is killing more dreams than failure will ever do. As long as you take that first step, that dream that you want to achieve, you could be trying to live it. You need to take that first leap, leap of faith into that dream life, live that life, and maybe it will lead into a failure. And yes, that could lead into you becoming even more stronger. Why? Because failure, leads to becoming more stronger. When you fail, you just do it again. You restart, you just grab life by the balls and you do it again. So doubting is the weakest thing. If you doubt, you will never start, you will never succeed. If you at least try, 
then you could succeed, you could fail, but if you fail, you will try again and you will become strong out of that. So it's very logical that you need to take that first step. Don't doubt, zoom out. We are just this little bit, just like, think, zooming out. You're zooming out from Earth into space. We are this. We are this tiny, we are nada, we are nothing. If a giant looks at us from the space, we are ants. Just give it a try. We are nothing, but we can become whatever we want in our lives if we just try. Give it a try, don't doubt, do it. And then if you fail, you become stronger and you do something else. That's the step that we took in the beginning when we went all in. We said, yes, we can go all in and we can become bankrupt because of that. But what then? If we become bankrupt, it means we still are healthy, we are still alive, we are still happy. The only thing that it means is that oh, we don't have money anymore. Oh shit, and when for the last time I didn't have money again? Ah yeah, when I came from school. When I came from school, I started with zero. I took a job, I started to work. After a couple of months, I bought a house. Of course, at that moment still with the banks. And of course, I started to live from that moment, from zero to where I'm now. So if you try something in life, which would be leading into a failure, maybe even to Bitcoin going to zero and you will be bankrupt, you can start over again, just like you started after college, after university, whatever degree you have. You just start over. It's not that difficult. At least then you gave your dream life a chance. Now by doubting, you're killing that dream. You're killing all your dreams. Doubt kills more dreams than failure will ever will. That was the inspirational quote for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about everything I talked about today's video? And yes, do you believe in 84K very soon? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing Monday. See you tomorrow again. Bam.